Hi guys, it's Jamie with gettingcrafty.net. That's gettingcrafty.net. I want to take a second, see if we can hear me again. You know, that's always fun. Um, let me see here. All right. Oh, I see it. Okay. Let's see if we can hear. Hello, hello, hello. See, oh, yep, you should be able to. Okay, it's typing the words, so who knows if that is um, happening correctly. Okay, let me hit this and this so I can watch you guys live and see if anybody comments. There we go. Want to make sure that we are hearing this. I can share. All right. I want to make sure that you can Hi guys, can you hear me? You can. Oh, praise the Lord. You can hear me. Hi, Mary. Hi, Linda and Julie. Loud and clear. Hi, Julie from Louisiana. Nice to see ya. Um, so I was making this start the correct way. Um, I want to give this an opportunity. We have a fun giveaway tonight. So if you guys are interested, what you're gonna want to do is make sure you share um, this video, go ahead, give me thumbs up, give me some happy happies and, um, share this video. This is taking me a second to make sure that it is. I'm so glad. Um, give me a shout out where you're from. Copy link. And... It's funny. Hello, Linda. I have a really fun giveaway, you guys, um, for you. Let me see here. I don't know what my computer... Oh, it's on the wrong app. That would be why. <laughs> no wonder. Okay. Hold on. I love that you guys are joining us. We have a really fun project today. This is an actual kit you could have ordered today. Um, we have three weeks that we'll be using this adorable, one of my favorite spring sets, which is called Easter Friends. Um, Easter Friends, I know it's probably backwards for you guys. It looks like it's backwards half the time and I never know how to flip it. Hi, Jody, Judy from Tennessee. How's everybody doing? I know my friend Linda is from Illinois. Um, let me see here. Oh, I see it. And so you could order your own kit from this and it's free. If you would like to get one of the kits to create with us every single week, we have this happening this week and two more weeks. And then we're gonna be switching over to another stamp set called After the Storm. And this will be the last two weeks of April. Uh, can you order the kit? Yes, Debalicious, you sure can, Deb. Uh, and Debbie is one of our Getting Crafty family. So not only is she one of my favorite stampers, she makes me such beautiful cards. She actually also joined our Getting Crafty family, our team. And she um, gets double the stuff. So when she ordered the kit, Debbie, all you have to do is, this will give me an opportunity. I see people joining. I have to be on multiple devices, you guys. So it's like, if you know me, technology has been nothing but fun. There we go. Let's see if I can get you guys to comment. Um, go ahead on, let me know if you guys are interested. Oh, I think I have to double click this on the screen here. Holy cannoli. So um, if you're part of the Getting Crafty family, you get my kits for free, which I love to do. Oh, there's Linda and Anita. It's raining in Ventura. I saw that. Hi, Tamara. So Tamara was so wonderful, and she joined our um, crop for kids this weekend. So um, we had a blast. Oh, and there goes my trash can. Um, 
So we had a blast this weekend supporting um, kids that were in um, the fight of their life. So super cute. Um, this will be the next kit. All you have to do if you are one of my stampers is order this or similar stamp set from me using my hostess code this month. Um, and I, then you just let me know and you pay me and I will priority mail you the kits to create and you create two cards every week. So there will be enough in each kit to create two cards every week. And I would love to give you a sneak peek. We can totally change it of the next coming cards. They're going to be quick. Are you ready? Okay. So this is one of the cute ducky duckies. And this is our little golden chick. We're going to be creating, 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 creating. I love it. Um, but this is our fun fold for today. And your kit will look like this. Now, today I'm doing a giveaway. Who wants something fun? Who wants something free? I want to give it to you. So this here is one of the kits for the three weeks. So there's six cards inside. That's six fabulous cards included. Um, so I'll be giving that away this evening and, um, I want to give it to you. All you have to do is comment, share like this, all that good stuff. Give me happy thumbsies upsies. And I'm glad to give you guys one of the kits. So we're going to hop in right now. So, uh, we had a great event this weekend. If you guys know, my home studio is almost guaranteed to have been a mess lately between us settling the move and my husband and kids bringing up new boxes. It was overwhelming. So the beautiful thing with my, <laughs> my ADHD is you give me a deadline and I can generally deliver. So, um, <laughs> we had the crop for kids and we created with that. So, um, I was able to clean up most of my crafting room and Tamara was walking around. What did you think of it, Tam? What did you think? Hey guys. So, um, I don't know. Uh, I think we had a blast on Saturday and I loaded her up full of food and all the ladies that were here, uh, we like to cook. So it was really fun. And we had our local bakery at Nadine's who created for us the cutest little lemon cupcakes that were, um, gift wrapped and all pretty to end the day in a great way. So, um, it was a fun fundraiser. We raised several hundred dollars for the event and I'm looking to do a couple new things in our business, which will be a free craft night um, every quarter. And uh, we'll look at even doing a fundraising event once a quarter. That would be really fun. Maybe every six months for a fundraising event. So um, I can't wait to do some more of this. I hope you guys are as excited as I am. So I see here. Are we frozen? Nope, it's fine, but it's not fine on here. It's uh, the laptop froze up. Let's see here, guys. There we go. Um, okay. It's behind the eight ball on the live on Facebook showing me how weird is that? I don't know why. Okay. We will deal. Um, and I will try to catch up with comments as they're coming in. Oh, there it is. It just popped itself up there. So I see Samantha and Nicole. Nicole is your Hello, my love. Um, and Linda and Tamara and Anita. Um, rain has such a standard part of our life here in the Midwest that um, we've become quickly accommodating, accustomed to it. We love it. Um, and so, yeah. Um, if you are part of the Getting Crafty family, this is one of the benefits to joining our team. You get lots of extra crafting, including free crafting from me. So, Deb, make sure you do me a favor. Can you message me Wednesday morning to make sure I get a kit out to you for both classes for our Getting Crafty family live and the live here for you guys? So, um, I put that on you. You're welcome. <laughs> she likes to have me pass on the buck, I think. Not really. She's sweet like that. Um, so, we have a free kit for three weeks of classes, that's six cards that I'm sending out. Um, so play along with us. I want to see what you guys think. Um, and we're going to be embracing the cute bun bun in here. Uh, my daughter was just talking to one of her best friends in California, which is really nice because her mom is one of my best friends and Nikki's birthday is tomorrow, but her daughter is a bunny savant. She, she raises bunnies and she volunteers at the bunny habitat um, for Ventura County 
um, rescue um, animal shelter. So she's one of their heads of their youth department for the bunny. So yes. Okay, good. Thanks, Debbie. Um, so this is in, in honor of our sweet Jaylee and Nikki Nolte. We love our Noltes. Um, a good bunny is adorable. So uh, what's interesting is that in California, we lived in a town, in a community called um, Caneo Valley. It was the valley of which we lived. It was our um, area. And so um, that means rabbit in Spanish, conejo. And so um, here we don't have a lot of bunnies running around probably because we have bald eagles hawks and other goodness that um foxes coyotes uh what else do we have here if you're local to us here in california in indiana make sure you let me know what kind of critters we have what kind of critters do you have in your area do you have bunnies and chicks and um duckies i love them so much my husband is funny He's like, we're going to be doing chickens for eggs and um, quail. And he's like, why don't we do ducks? And I'm like, because you're allergic. <laughs> yeah, why don't we do ducks? He's the allergic one, you guys. I can't with my husband, just saying. There you go. Let's turn around and we're going to create right now. Okay. So, of course, I don't have my kit in front of me. Um, but this is the card we created today using the Easter Friends set. Um, I do have my Stays On Jet Black ink pad. Tamara has one in her hot little hands as well. Um, Stays On ink pad is my favorite. It's on back order. So if you guys are wanting it, make sure you let me know. Um, gators and crawfish. Yeah, you do, Julie. Um, and those are not something I'd want to mess with, at least not the gators. Uh, we are... Well, you have those... Um, they're like giant rats, and it starts with an M. What's the name of that critter? It's out in the um, in New Orleans. It's in the bayous. Uh, what was the name of the animals? Oh, Denise, you're so funny. You have gators as well. <laughs> Good eating. Gators, we actually like alligator meat. It was really tasty. Um, and so I'm going to do, Stacy says, we always have running around, and we have a coyote pasture yesterday. I have never seen a bunny in our yard, Stacy, and I have your kit here, so make sure we give you your kit. I'm going to grab one of my cards right at the table. Hold on one second. I hate to leave you with chatter uh, without it. Muskrat. Yes, those things are nasty. <laughs> huge, huge critters. Okay. Stacy was here as well this weekend and she enjoyed our crop for kids. Um, you don't have to be a scrapbooker to go to one of those. It's just all about crafting. Now, Denise, do you guys eat muskrats? I know that some of them down in the bayou might. Um, I remember they used to get paid per pelt um, for them. I thought that was interesting. Apparently muskrats, y'all, are, are um, like a problem, right? So they pay people to hunt them and bring them out get rid of them um so your kit when you order your kit with me you'll get double the cards to create and the reason i do that is i i think sometimes people want to keep a card and send a card um with a spring collection like this i am actually really happy to send both cards and bless people not you yuck right it's not really my cup of tea sister i'm not not suggesting it <laughs> um nope you can't pay me <laughs> Eat them, Denise says. Ah, Julie and Denise are a hoot and a half. Though I've never had a crawfish boil, I do like me some shellfish. And when I go to New Orleans, I usually can get sick on the amount of shellfish I eat. Such rich, rich and luxurious food. Um, okay, so this doesn't have a score line on it. No, it's not a very good one. Um, but we'll be fine. I have my little cut board right here. Well, I did. I moved everything, y'all. Hold on. Okay, so this is a card within a card. I like to do that. Um, I don't know what you guys think. Crawfish are awesome. A friend of mine was having, uh, her. she's the sister of our local bakery, and she was having a crawfish boil for her, Ina, hello my love, for her birthday this weekend. And so um, super cute, and I thought that was just a fun thing to do. She's like, I've never had one, but my kids wanted to. I always do shrimp on my birthday and so they decided instead of taking her out to do a crawfish boil at home so um 
it's funny, Stacey, because I don't, I've never seen bunnies in our community. Now, that being said, squirrels. Y'all, squirrels are an issue here too. And they're different looking than they were on the West Coast. Okay, so this is not your traditional sized card. It's slightly different. So let's go over that. Um, this is a piece of designer series paper. It's our, is it called Pick a Petal? Hold on, let's just double check the name. That would mean I was more on the ball. I'm grabbing it while we're speaking. Yeah, hand penned designer series paper. So these are all hand drawn. And this is a collection. Now, if you know me, I boiled fried fettuccine and jambalaya. Mm, I do like jambalaya. I do like them fried and boiled. And I do like them with fettuccine. So we'll see, we could eat together anytime you want to have me. <laughs> um, okay. So this is a long piece of designer series paper and we have an extra full here. We should. Um, I was fiddling with the design, so I just want to um, do this real quickly. Right there. And I like a little fun fold. When you score designer series paper, you need to be careful. It's not as thick as cardstock, so you want to be careful. Um, when you're doing it. In your kit, you will get enough to make two of these exact cards. The cool thing is, this is a double-sided piece of designer series paper. You could make the cards look completely different. Uh, so you guys get to, I know sister, now they were trying to do a Stampin' Up! event in August in Nolens, and I was like, no. <laughs> I'll come see y'all almost any time you give me a spring or summer New Orleans visit. I totally will do it. But I will not do it in the tornado months or hurricane months. Well, won't do it. I like you guys. Not enough. <laughs> Great. So, Denise, we're going to do that right now. Now, you guys tell me what you want to do. Um, this, we could have flowers on the outside or we can do the polka dot like I did here. What do you guys want? What do you want on the outside? Comment and let me know. So while you're doing that, I'm just going to prep the cardstock I'm using my bone folder. And um, we have a cute little project right there. You guys comment and let me know. While you're doing that, I'm gonna take the bun bun and my stays on ink pad. It smells like almonds, you know me, I'm gonna breathe it in. Oh, so stinking good, you guys. So good. Um, and I want to send you guys flowers. Flowers are popular on our Facebook feed right now. And Denise is up for flowers as well. Um, so while you guys are commenting, let me know. Now, this is another little trick that I do. Not really. Not a trick. That's true, Julie, but not necessarily in August. August is pretty um, muggy as all get out. That is what I call swampy hell. <laughs> I am not a fan of uh, New Orleans in August. Other than that, like July and August are a little brutal. July less so, I think. August is pretty darn hard for me in New Orleans. So there you go. We're going to stamp this bun bun. <laughs> you know, Julie's laughing at me. It's true though, Jules. I'm just saying. There's our cute bunny in black. This is drawn so well. It's so I just love him so much. But I wanted to show you how I did an alternative and what I did not, why I did not go forward with that. Um, so we have our bunny set to the side. I stamped it in the cinnamon cider, which would have been this brown, um, on the pale papaya, and it disappeared. I just wanted you to see there is an alternative to uh, crafting if you guys wanted. You can stamp it in the cinnamon cider. It just is too soft for me. Um, if I were to do it, I would probably do it in um, but I love the black sharp contrast and it ties into the sharp contrast there. Now, everybody has picked flowers and that makes me super happy. So what we're going to do is we're going to fold it with the longer flap here on the top and we're going to come in and fold it back and then we're going to fold it forward. One of my favorite things is when you can see both sides of the pattern. That makes me so stinking happy. Um, okay, and then we're just going to um, give it a good bone fold. Right there. A nice impression with our bone folder is a great way to make your project just be elevated. 
Um, and here, it's so cute. There's a little extra fun fold that we have here. And when I did it, I did it so the bunny's booty tucks the card in. So just like that. Now, somebody would might be inclined to open the card and have it stand kind of like that, um, if that makes sense, right here. Um, and then, but they might not. They may just do it this way. Um, I don't really care how somebody opens it as long as they're happy. Thanks, Julie. I agree. It's absolutely stunning. Um, I'm sad to see it go. If you guys have not seen the last chance product list, this is the bad boy right here. It's on my um, website. You guys will see. I'll update the, the location. Um, I'll update the description this evening for you, but you can always see it at gettingcrafty.net. That's gettingcrafty.net. I'll throw this up here so you guys can see. And it's probably backwards, right? <laughs> With my luck. It's probably, oh, it's, you know, it's even in the description. Like you guys can see it in the name showing. Um, so yeah. Okay, good. I have no idea, but that's my, my little logo. Um, okay. So we have this really, and I don't like waste. So this card is five and a half by four inches when we're done. Um, it's slightly smaller than the standard card, which would be, um, like a four and a quarter by five, but I don't have any waste. I'm not going to, I just can cut straight strips on your designer series paper and you have no waste. Now I like a hidden card. I do. So when you look here and you open that up, this is actually not a card to write on. This is what it does. It opens up. So it's a fun little surprise inside. What do you guys think? Do you like it? Do you love it? Um, if you haven't shared already, go ahead and share this video and then give me a thumbs up and let me know what you guys think. There is the cute little card we're going to create on the inside. Now, this is the rule. If you saw the back of this, you'd see it's a hot mess. I misstamped. It looks awful. So I stamp it before I apply it down. And Stacy will tell you it's one of the things that we talked about on previous lives where it's really essential to stamp before you... Um, put it down because you'll probably have a mistake at some point in your life, um, quite honestly. Now, we're going to use Mint Macaron ink pad right here. It's one of our subtles. It's the green that matches this designer series paper. Um, so we're going to go inside and we're going to stamp over here. Boom. And maybe stamp off and kind of give it a little bit more grass. Why not? And this is my other thing. I like to stamp the inside of your card. Just a little hint. This keeps your project tied in so that it looks cohesive. All right. Then sending warm and happy wishes this spring um, is already prepped for us on my dirty block. It's dirty. Oh, we do not want it in our mint macaron. We want to close that bad boy. And I have my Simply Chamois almost always right here on my table. And we're just going to stamp off. And then grab that stays on jet black ink again. Pat. Now, did you see what I did with the bunny and with this greeting? I'm not taking the stamp to the pad. I'm taking the pad to the stamp. This is a lot lighter than our high quality, really nice um, clear blocks. So I'm just going to stamp that down. Mm, I love the smell of that stamp set or that ink pad. I mean, and can I tell you if you are not from, yeah, what I was surprised is the moment the snow like rolled off, it was perfect. Like my grass was green underneath. Is that a normal thing? Stace, you're gonna have to let me know. I don't know. Yes. She likes that. Okay, so now that we know that this is stamped correctly, if I screwed up, I could always have stamped and done the other side. Um, that's why, and I wouldn't have done this necessarily, but I had some false confidence in myself. Now we're going to take a nice line here, and you, with multi-purpose liquid adhesive, you just kind of drag. You don't need to goop. Okay, this is going to be an interactive card. Yes, it is. I came from Michigan. Thanks, Denise. Um... It's been really interesting for me to learn. We never had snow in California to speak of. We would get like a day of hail or whatever, but nothing, nothing substantial. And then 
the snow we had, so funny. I have to tell you guys a little funny story. The snow we would have in Big Bear Lake would um, be nothing for us here in the Midwest. But my husband would be like, I don't want to go up the mountain today because, um, or go up this weekend because we're expecting snow. Maybe inches, you guys. Maybe four to six inches. Um, but we didn't want to get stuck on the mountains because they don't know how to deal with snow in California. So now that greeting is hidden behind our little fun fold. So that's funny. I look back now at the snow and it was like just a dusting. <laughs> I made a snowman. It was a picture, I don't know if it was a week or two ago, where it like fit in my hand. So it was probably like, I don't know, maybe four or six inches. And we made it out of all the snows. I know, right? If you have to put on some long sleeves, it's too cold. Julie, you're so funny. That's not true. I like the long sleeves. I'm wearing them now. This is one of my Stampin' Up! jackets for one of our trips. I love it. Um, being the top 1% of Stampin' Up! is like the world's best gift. I love it so, so much. Okay, this is a strip. You should have a nice long strip in your kit from me on this if you order the kit. And um, I sent one strip, just one, because you don't need me to cut it. We're, we're, what we're going to do real quickly is we're going to make a little banner here. So we're just going to go up and go to the other side. I have taught you how to do it really better than this. So if you're disappointed in me now, <laughs> get over it. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Y'all have fun with me today. Okay. I think I'm super giddy because I am so happy with the progress we're making in my crafting attic and the fun we had this weekend. Okay, so we're just going to stamp the happy Easter. Boom. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And, you know, I don't miss, Julie is, I, I don't miss a lack of seasons that we had in California. I just don't. A lot of people might, but... And I find that this is a very mild winter being in Indiana where we are near Fort Wayne. It's nothing compared to in Michigan or Chicago or New York where some of my cousins live. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put this little happy Easter here. I don't like that it hangs over, so I'm going to tuck that in there. No longer it like lines up 100%. Where's my OCD going to go with this? Who knows? <laughs> So here we go. Okay, then I'm going to use two Stampin' Dimensional adhesives just in line with one another. And um, the reason I also will pull it back, I mean, I could totally trim this, um, but I need to be able to fit it into an envelope. So I'm going to place it like so. It's not perfectly aligned like this was on the fold because apparently I'm not perfect. Just don't tell my husband or kids. I lie to them all the time about being perfect. <laughs> okay, so I'm grabbing my bone, uh, my snips again. Now I do have a slight tremor, so if you see me shaking, I'm aware. Um, and the reason I love our snips is I don't have to try really hard. The snips do all the work for you. So we're gonna come up and I barely give it any squeezing. I more just kind of trace along as I just give it a small thing here. And I'm not shaking because I might be shaking a little bit like that, but it's more that I'm just kind of like following the hairs and giving it a little jaggedy look. And I'm sending this sweet card to our little Jay Lee because I just know she's going to love the Bun Bun card. We are all perfect in the eyes of God or Denise, you can also say that like we're not, and that's why he sent Jesus, but we are his, we are precious in his eyes. So I may not be perfect and I'm not correcting you, but um, one thing, I, so funny, I learned the power of um, boundaries. And I remember somebody was correcting me this weekend and it took me everything not to like fight for that boundaries. I don't like people correcting me. Do you like people correcting you? I mean, yeah. We are all made in God's image, Julie. That's right. I love, I love that you guys accept me and my faith and all that goodness that comes with it. I am so grateful that you're joining me today. Okay, so we're just kind of 
going and I'm always cutting away from me. Have you guys noticed that? I'm behind this here and I'm just going in and I'm never, if you were cutting this way and you're cutting towards you, you lose track of the sight of what's happening here. But if you're stamping, you're cutting away, you're able to see as you're cutting, just like there. Who wants that free kit tonight? You have to comment and let me know. I'll be glad to send a free kit to anybody. Um, if you are wanting it and you're in Canada or any of that stuff, um, you'll just pay the extra for shipping. That's all. So here's our bun bun. Our bun bun is designed our little bunny. He's matching or she is matching this really beautiful designer series paper. Also matching the inside polka dots that you see here. Um, super cute. You could, no, I do not like that. You could put the bunny on the outside. I just don't. That's not my gig. So I'm going to do this and then I'm only going to apply adhesive on this half of the bunny's head. That is true, Denise. We don't like it, but that's sometimes how we go. You know, I, um, you don't have to accept everybody's criticism, but I do, I always find it interesting to hear what people think of you. Like, you know, I was, I was like, oh, I don't have to own their decision of what they think of me, but I can always enjoy hearing. Now, if you saw, I did put it on one side. I left the bunny's booty exposed so that we can put it over. And now this designer series paper is fun folded in a cute little flare. No need to cut it off. Um, and he's tucked under the bunny's booty. Who doesn't love a little tushy of the bun buns? I think they are so precious. Okay, so here we go. There you go. So um, this is our sweet little and quick handmade card today, you guys. Uh, we stamped it on the pale papaya and um, we have a fun fold. Now that fun fold can come out and be opened and look like that. Or it can be just, it depends on who opens it, right? Could be just like so, where they keep it folded. And then you have this little surprise greeting on the inside. And then, then you can open it, and there is this right there. It's an extra step that is worth it. No extra hard work. Really, I adore that I'm not wasting anything. Um, I'm curious what you guys think. Oof. See you guys joining us there you go um are you guys digging the polka dots or the floral which do you prefer of these cards denise and what do you think julie stacy and linda and anita nicole what do you guys prefer here i'm gonna pull you a little bit closer here we go Oop, that was awful quick wasn't that i didn't expect it to move that fast just saw you floral denise do you like that that's awesome now I have you guys chatting away. Hi V, long time no see my sister. Lovely to see you. Now I wanna point out you guys can order the next two cards in the kit. This is the only one that's gonna go out um, as a gift that will have this card and the next two weeks you get to create alongside of us. All you have to do is comment right now. Um, let me know what you think. I'm gonna pull a comment this evening. Do you love both Julie? Me too flowers I think the bunny blends in too much into the other I was wondering the same thing my friend both are beautiful but the floral is pretty super spring too I just think it screams spring happiness so giving you an opportunity I'm looking through this, um, the greetings and um, oh Samantha hi from Fort Wayne I didn't see you comment earlier hello Nicole from Canada and um, it's so good to see you guys comment and join us. Um, I love it as well. I'm looking at the comments and I see Jody, I mean, Judy from Tennessee, Julie B, Linda, Denise, um, Mary. You don't hear anything, Mary? That's so weird. Um, I'm so sorry that you didn't hear anything, but you guys are hearing the rest of me because it's picking up where my font is able to do it. Okay. Um, 
and Julie Jan Warner, new to your channel, only watched once before. Never tried this before, but looks like it's fun, especially if you want it. Ah, exactly. So what I will do? Let me see. It looks like spring. Giving you guys an opportunity. I am just kind of scrolling really quick between the two, and I have a hard time because I hate to just pick a name. Um, if you receive this, I'll just send it to you in the post. That's all. So. Um, I hate picking names. Um, if I had my, my daughters up here, they would be my assistants and they love picking names. <laughs> they love to be a little on the bossy side and win. So um, I'm looking here and the winner, drum row, please. Do you love my nails tonight? I painted them today. Super fun. This was my pink nod to our new sorbet color. This is probably a little too bright for the sorbet, but super fun. Um, spring all the way. And my daughter thought it was weird that I put sparkle only on two nails. I put it on my thumb and my ring finger. Um, so Donna, nice to see you, my friend. Um, okay. So this kit is going out to somebody today. I'm super excited to send that to you. Actually, it will be mailed Wednesday. Um, nobody is getting any mail tomorrow. It's my homeschool and Taekwondo night. So, um, I'm going to, okay trying to see who commented the most this evening. Pick you, pick you, Donna. You're so cute. You needed to comment more, my friend. Um, I will be sending, picking a second person to receive the card in the mail. How about that? So somebody will get the card in the mail and somebody will get the kit. So let me see here. All right. It's so hard to pick with you guys. Now, you know, this kit is free. Let me just explain to you. It's a free kit, you guys. All you have to do is pay me for, for shipping. If you order um, this Easter Friends card, I mean, bundle, stamp set um, with our hostess code, and you pay me, I think it's $5 for shipping. It's really not expensive. It might be seven with the upgraded post. Um, and I, I just can't wait to send it to you. And you can create with us every week. Remember, this will be happening for three weeks straight. This kit is six cards, two cards every week for three weeks. And then we will be switching to the After the Storm stamp set. That's where Anita's at right now in California. Their California Storm will be using this for the last two weeks of April. Um, and that's my birthday. Like April is my birthday month, so it's big. These are available for free. Um, all you have to do is order from me. But tonight, um, I, you're so cute. You guys are killing me. Um, okay, I love it. So right now, if you haven't, um, this here, this little card, drum roll please, will be going to, you guys are killing me. <laughs> Um, okay, it shouldn't be this hard, but this is so cute. Um, I think, Denise, you're going to be receiving this card. Will you do me a favor? And I will put a special something something inside. Um, go ahead and email me, jamie at gettingcrafty.net. That's gettingcrafty.net, jamie, J-A-M-I-E. Email me your contact information, your address, your phone number, and your email so I can send you this with something pretty inside. Um, when you receive it, let me know. Don't ruin the nails. I know, I'm trying not to bite them, Stacey. <laughs> Um, and then this one here is going to our Julie B. Um, Julie B, you will be receiving this here. You need to do the same thing where you um, comment, um, send me an email with your information, and I'm glad to send this to you. So if you guys would like me to send this within the United States, I know you have to order from me. If you're in Canada, I will make you guys a deal. If you guys want to pay me for shipping, um, and, at, and you can just PayPal that. Um, I'm glad to send you guys a kit, uh, maybe $5 for processing. How about that? Um, and the cost of shipping. I can look it up for anybody who's in Canada. You can private message me um, in our profiles here on social media. Um, but any of you are welcome to receive this kit. There's lots of goodness inside. Six cards for this one. And then the second kit will be four cards for two weeks. So 
them this here. If you haven't received um, the catalog and you want one, let me know. I'm glad to send you a catalog in the mail with some pretty stuff inside. So um, we are all set. It is all done and I haven't eaten dinner, I realize. So um, it's been great to join you ladies. I love it. Samantha, thank you for joining me, Donna. Um, Linda, Nicole, we have Julie and Chan and V and Denise and um, so many of you wonderful ladies. I'm just double checking. Mary, hopefully you were able to hang in there. Ina Bear, my Ina, I love my Ina. Um, and Deb Fitzgerald, Judy, Julie, and Linda. I don't know if I caught everybody. Hopefully I did. Um, you guys have a great evening. I want to just thank you for being part of my journey and keep an eye out for the videos this week. Comment and let me know what you think so that we can create and connect over card making and crafting all the time. If you'd like to be on my email list, I email tutorials and um, specials and that kind of thing. So um, just make sure you contact me with your email address and your contact info so we can put you on the email list. So um, you can see tutorials and more on my blog at gettingcrafty.net. That is gettingcrafty.net. You should be able to see my blog right there. And um, yeah, that's it tonight. So congratulations, you guys. Um, mwah, blessings. Thank you for joining us. I'm going to let you go. Have a great Monday and a wonderful and blessed week.